Hey everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and today we are in Mississauga and we're looking at this 2015 Mercedes Benz GL350 uh, Blue Tech Diesel, black in color, obviously, and uh, it's about 144k on it, 144,000 kilometers. There we go. Uh, overall, it's in decent condition. It does have some dings, dents, and bruises around. But I don't see anything that's been repainted or repaired body-wise. Uh, some places that have some things, uh, a couple of little marks here and there. Pretty much many of the panels have some marks. The car hasn't really been waxed or taken care of in that aspect. A couple little dings here and there. Uh, we're just going over the driver door right now and some kind of sanding looking stuff. I think it's from kind of rubbing it with something that's not quite the right thing I don't know but it's a uh, definitely needs a good waxing polishing that'll probably take care of most of it uh, again scratches here and there I took pictures as many of the scratches but a lot of them I think a good polishing will take care of them there's a little one here uh, some chips on the hood from driving and some sap here and there so in general the exterior needs a good detailing some things here and there Front fascia looks good though, no major damage. Again, just some sandblasting from driving. Other than that though, it looks pretty good. This chrome trim is starting to uh, to pull up a little bit here. And again, a little bit of, it's kind of like sanded, like it's scrubbed with a hard brush or something on a lot of places. It does have the 360 camera, by the way. As we go down the passenger side, again, we see scratches here and there. Some little dings, not as many on this side, but there are a couple here and there. Mirrors all look good. Like I said, it is nice and straight, no major issues other than little dings here and there. Good size chip in the door right here. And same thing with the, the minimal, like the kind of scratching throughout the side here. There's a ding in the trim right here, as you can see. Uh, windows are original. Mercedes with no issues tinted All looks pretty decent. Let's go back here. Rear fascia again looks okay Nothing major no issues no repaints some scratches here and there Some uh, trim starting to bubble as you can see now, There's a little damage on this back corner here So this is coming out and this is kind of busted here. There must have been some kind of a uh, light bump this light is broken so somebody must have backed into something, I believe. Again, I don't see repairs, I just see that light damage. Uh, I did, I forgot to mention that this piece of trim here is kind of loose as well. So there you have the exterior. Uh, the windshield has been replaced, by the way. It looks to be replaced well, but uh, it is not the original Mercedes unit. And this quarter panels all look pretty good. No major gap issues here from whatever it got backed into. It all looks pretty decent. Uh, as I said, windshield has been replaced and it's in good condition with no issues. So is the roof. Now undercarriage, wheels, tires, all look pretty decent. Uh, tires are all 2019s. As you can see by this date code here and they're at about uh, six, no, eight 30 seconds of tread. And that to be in good condition. Front brakes are brand new, barely even driven on. Rotors and pads are all new. And there is some curb rash on these rims, as you can see. Underneath, suspension all looks good. I did test the air suspension, it does work without issue. Uh, you'll see pictures of it up and down. Other than that, axles look good, everything looks decent. There is some grease on this axle right there. However, the dealer said that a wheel bearing was just replaced, so it doesn't look like that's leaking or ripped. It just looks like possibly when they did that, that's what happened there. Uh, this tire is also a 2019. With a little bit of, as you can see, some curb rash here and there, some uh, corrosion starting, typical around the this stuff at about 8.30 seconds to tread with no issues. Again, front brakes are brand new on this side as well. 
and suspension components all look pretty good. No major leaks or issues. I don't see any rust throughout underneath. Everything looks pretty decent with no real issues. Get to the back tires. Again, they're 8 30 seconds, 2019, so they all look good. Rear brakes are decent. Uh, well, they're gonna need replacing soon. I say there's about 35% or so left on them. And rotors have a bit of a bit of a lip on them, so they're gonna need uh, changing as well. As you can see, those pads are a little low. I'm sure, they're still working okay, but they will be changing soon. Uh, a little bit of corrosion in this wheel rim as well. And again, underneath, everything looks pretty nice. With no real issues. Axles all look good. No leaking from the diff. No major issues underneath. I did take uh, a lot more pictures underneath that you'll see. Final wheels also 2019 with 830 seconds of tread, nice and even, and these brakes are similar condition to the other side, about 35% or so. And there is some uh, good curb rash on this rim as well, as you can see. Now we go inside, everything looks pretty decent. Doors work good. Uh, carpeting looks decent, needs a good detailing but everything is here without issue. And underneath here is all the, oh, this little can is in the way. There we go, spare tire, jack, everything, owner's manual, all that is here as well. Headliner looks good. Uh, the automatic seats do work as they should. With no issues. And carpet on the back of them looks good. While we're here, these panels look good with no major issues. Again, with a good detailing, I think this will, it'll come up pretty good. And these also work. They did before. There we go, you gotta hold it. So thing works as it should as far as those back seats go. And this panel is pretty good, no major issues, and the power also does work on it. As you can see. Rear seats all look pretty good. Uh, first we'll look at the third row. We have no issues there. Uh, this does work as it should, seat moves. It's a little sticky coming up before, we'll see if it works right this time. I believe it probably hasn't been used much, but it seemed to do its job. Carpets look good. On both sides, no issues. A little bit of a kind of mark right there, but other than that, it looks pretty decent. And again, we'll see if this works as it should, kind of was before. Oh, so you gotta do it manually, it's supposed to go manually like that. There we go, so I must have, uh, the, the handle was like stuck before. So I unstuck it and it works good now. Seats look good. Back here, no major issues. All look pretty decent. Cup holder looks good. Carpets back here, it's got all of the mats. And again, underneath all looks pretty nice. No marks on the back seats, back of the seats. And all these climate control and all that stuff all looks pretty good. It does have the dual sunroofs as you can see. This door panel looks pretty decent with no major issues, no cracks or anything, and the trim back here all looks pretty good. Go up to the passenger side front, and we do have a little bit of a one crack in the trim here. Very typical of these Mercedes. So you see that, but other than that, everything looks pretty decent. This window, it's uh, you see the window control, the paint is kind of flaking off there. Once we go inside, the seat Looks decent, there is a bit of a rip. Uh, the, the stitching is starting to rip and a little bit of wear in the bolster here. As you can see, again, you'll see photos. And a little bit of damage, not much, just a little unfraying on this seatbelt. Floors look decent with a good uh, detailing, they'll be fine. Glove box all looks good with no issues. And this trim all looks pretty nice as well as the dash top, etc kind of the same story in the driver's side. Everything looks decent. 
couple little marks here and there, but nothing major. Here we are in this door panel. There is a kind of a puncture rip kind of a thing right here. But this looks good and everything else looks pretty decent. Seat looks good just like the other side. No issues. All looks pretty decent. Carpets look good. And a couple of marks in the seat back here. Nothing too crazy. There is now, I think it's a little button or something for the headrest. For that, yep, see for that, that to move. So that button is missing on that seat. This works as it should as well. With no issues. You see carpets back here look good as well. So there you go, in there. Oh, I just saw some marks right here as well. That's on that door panel. Here we are in the driver compartment. For the most part, door panel looks good. However, there is a good amount of cracking. It's hard to get with the glare, but throughout this piece of trim, there is that wood grain cracking. Everything else looks decent though, again, some peeling off of there some wear on this bolster as to be expected other than that though the seat looks good with no major issues under here all looks pretty decent as well dash looks decent uh, there is some typical wear on the steering wheel on these edges here and a little bit on top here but nothing too crazy everything else looks pretty decent everything in here does work Seems to do what it's supposed to do. All this comes on. Air conditioning is currently on up high right now. So AC, heat, everything works. As you can hear, radio is working. We also have navigation, etc. All that stuff. You'll see photos, but it all does seem to work just as it should. And all this stuff. Everything's working, no issues. Oh, it looks pretty good. So no problems here. All this stuff is good. The, uh, oh, this isn't coming on, let me see. Oh, these don't seem to be coming on. Oh, there we go, they come on when you do that, okay. There we go. So all that is pretty good. Uh, it's also, we'll show you these. These do work, as do all the windows and sunroof. All that stuff looks good with no issues. Under the hood, uh, key fob battery is low, by the way, it keeps telling me. Under the hood, we look pretty decent. Uh, I don't see any major leaks or anything like that, except for one looks like in the steering system which I got some good photos of. Uh, it's right down here. It's hard for me to get a video. I don't know if I can get down there. All right, in that area you can see, yep. So there is a leaking coming from that area. I think it's steering. It's hard to tell without getting the car up on a lift though. Other than that, everything looks pretty decent. I did take this cover off. You'll see photos, there's no issues under there. Uh, oil looks good for diesel. No issues, we got a green light. We checked it right there. Uh, battery over here was good. Uh, over 12 and charging at 14.6, uh, I believe. Uh, this is, this little intake thing is a little ripped right here. No leaks in the turbo or anything in the back. Everything looks good there as well. Uh, coolant was good to negative 37, so no issues. And under here, your brake fluid was at 2% humidity, so we have no major issues there. We did have a couple of stored history codes. Uh, no big deal, some CAN bus communication codes. Uh, but they are stored in older codes, so I don't think they're really much of an issue. You will see those in the report. So there you have it, 2015 GL350. Now we're gonna take it for a ride and uh, make sure it's drives well. As usual, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.